Hey, welcome to the Wealthy Speaker Podcast. It's Jane Atkinson here with a, let's say a lighter or quickie version of the podcast. Uh, just kind of like a bite-sized tip or idea. Something that I would love you to be listening to in the car. And then afterwards, just like give yourself five minutes, 10 minutes to think about it, okay? Today is all about showing up for yourself, showing up for your dreams, how you show up. And it was prompted by the fact that we're getting ready to go on a road trip down to Florida in what is really part of my dream coming true. We have been, or I have been plotting out this idea that we will be wintering in the South and summering up north at our cottage. And we're just one step closer to seeing that become a reality. And isn't that the whole idea of becoming an entrepreneur in the first place is to really build the life of your dreams? We actually changed up our promise statement. The old book was Catapult Your Speaking Business, but the Wealthy Speaker 3.0 subtitle is your recipe for building the speaking business of your dreams because I've started to recognize that everybody doesn't have the same dreams. And, and I have to tell you that so many of the things that I'm doing today, I mean, I started in motion years ago. I, uh, I did a little reel on this, so you might've heard about it. I uh, ate, in 2018, so how many years ago is that? This is 2023. So five years ago, I was doing a tour around Vancouver. I was there for a conference, the CAPS conference, Canadian Association of Professional Speakers. And I was just by myself walking in the streets of Vancouver, as I might do when I go to visit a city. And I came across a Tesla dealership, and we don't have a Tesla dealership in, in London, Ontario. So I uh, popped in and I sat in a Tesla and I took a picture of myself. That's why I know what year it was because I'm not great at remembering dates. And it came up as a memory. <clears throat> 2018 was when I sat in the Tesla and I thought to myself, this is a really cool car. It's got all the bells and whistles that I love because I'm a bells and whistles girl. And of course, you're going to get amazing fuel economy because it's electric. And this was long before Elon Musk started basically making everybody in the world hate him. <laughs> and so he, he's made some moves lately that have been quite questionable. And now everybody hates Tesla. But I ordered mine, uh, I don't know, over a year ago. And it finally came a few months ago. And we are now taking, we call her Betty, Betty White, because she's white. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited about taking Betty White on this trip down to the States and seeing, you know, just how this experience is going to be. But it's part, it like, it's two pieces of a dream come true. Number one, part number one of my dream, I wanted to own a Tesla. Part number two of my dream was I wanted to winter in the South and we're doing it. And I don't know if we'll buy a place down there. I would be fine not, but you know, I'm open to it and we'll see what happens. I just think that when we develop our dreams, <laughs> sorry, we've got like bells and whistles going off all around us here on this podcast, very unprofessional. Um, <clears throat> when we create our dreams, we have to write them down, of course. We all know that we need to write down our dreams, but I don't know if everybody visits them daily. And I wrote this down every day in the Wealthy Speaker Daily Success Planner and Journal, plug, plug. Uh, I wrote it down every single day, what it was that I wanted in terms of the life that I was creating. And then here's part two. So write it down daily. That's part one. Uh, write it down visit it daily. And then the third piece is to start to work your action steps backwards. What's one thing that I need to do to 
purchase a Tesla, not the cheapest car in the world. I need to start saving some money. Okay. That's what I did. I saved for like five years and um, purchased it outright and felt really, really good. And that was like just a significant accomplishment. So y'all who want to debate, you know, batteries and where they come from and all of that stuff. Uh, first of all, make sure your information is not coming from the Koch brothers or the oil and gas industry. But number two, you know, I'm not necessarily trying to save the world here, but I am very, very grateful that what used to cost us, you know, a $60 drive is now a $3 drive. And so going down to Florida will be major, major, uh, a lot cheaper. And I'm really excited about that. And I purchased a car because I liked it. It was a cool car. <laughs> this is all the way back to Dan Sullivan's I want what I want because I want it. So uh, I want to leave you with the idea that you can have the exact business that you dream of. There are so many things that are happening in my life right now that I could never have seen as a possibility five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And I just want you to recognize that anything is possible. How are you showing up for your dreams? Drive around in your car and think about that one for a few minutes. Okay. I'll see you soon, wealthy speakers. Bye for now.